Hi Sumit, if you like to learn how to draft a basic bodice pattern with that, then this video is for you, watch till the end. My name is Veronica Adams Aze, welcome to Vera Adams YouTube channel. Right here is the pattern paper I'll be using. I've gone ahead to draw a line, which will serve as the starting line. From this point, I'll go ahead and take the measurements, which are shoulder to bust which is 10 inches shoulder to under bust 14 inches shoulder to waist 17 inches and the full length is 23 inches i'll go ahead to draw a straight line out of these points i'll then go ahead and label this point starting from the hip line to the waist line to the under bust and to the post line once i'm done with this i'll go ahead and take the measurement on the hip line so the hip i'm working with right here is 40 inches divided by four that's 10 inches i went ahead to mark then i'm going upwards to take the measurement for the waistline the measurement i'm working in here is 34 inches divided by four that's eight and a half inches the underboss measurement I'm working with here is 32 inches divided by 4, that's 8 inches. The bust line I'm working with is 38 inches divided by 4, that's 9 and a half inches and I've gone ahead to mark. So I'll go ahead to connect these points together from the hip line to the waistline, from the waistline on the bust and from the on the bust to the bust line just as I'm doing right here. After connecting these points together, I'll go in and blend the sharp end because you're not supposed to have any sharp edge. So I'll go ahead to use my marker pen to trace this out so it becomes more visible. Moving on to the starting line, I'll go ahead to take the shoulder measurement which is 15 inches divided by 2, that's 7 and a half inches. I'll come down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. I'll go ahead to take 3 and a half inches for the neck width. Then I would use my ruler to connect downward as so for the shoulder slope. From that point, I will come down by 7 inches and that will serve as a chest line. I will connect it from that point downwards, just the way you see me doing here. At this point, I'm going ahead to label that line as the chest line. So right on that spot, I'll go ahead to take the bust span measurement 38 inches, so divided by 4 give us 9 and a half inches. At this point, I'm going ahead to connect it together, just the way you see me doing right here. For the armhole curve, I'm going to go ahead to divide what I have on the armhole line into two, and I'll make a mark, and then I'll go in by 0 0.5 inches, then I'll connect it down into the post span measurement that I marked on the chest line. Moving downwards to the waistline, I'll go ahead to take the dart and I'll be using four inches. I'll go ahead and mark four inches on the waistline and on the underbust and even on the bust line, just the way I'm doing here. And I'll go down also to the hip line and also mark four inches from the midpoint. I'll connect this together into a straight line. I would achieve this using the straight part of my ruler and I'll connect these points together like so. From the bust line, I'm going to go down by one inch and make a mark. I'll then go downwards to the hip line and from the hip line, I'm going to come up by two inches and also make a mark right there. This simply means that the that will be starting one inch below the bust line and it will end two inches above the hip line. Right here on the waistline, I'll go ahead to take 0 0.75 inches on both ends. That is 1.5 inches in total. And from that end, I'll connect it downwards to meet that two inches that we came up by on the hip line. I'll also do the same for the other side as well. And from there, I'll also come upwards to meet the one inch below the bust line just the way i'm doing right here i'll also repeat the same for the other side at this point we have successfully completed the drafting of the dart for different bodies then i'm using my marker pen to trace it out so it becomes more visible remember that when we were taking the measurements we didn't add the measurements for the dart so right here, I'll go ahead to replace 
the 1.5 inches that we took for the dart on the waistline and on the on the bust line i'll go ahead and add back 0 0.75 inches so right at this point i'll go ahead and connect these points together note that this might look a bit funny but it's actually okay as long as you have the correct measurement so i'll go ahead to connect this new waist measurement to the initial hip measurement i'll go ahead and bring in my marker pen so it becomes more visible at this point we are done with the front bodies and i will go ahead to start cutting it out so because i want to use these front bodies to cut out the back bodies i wouldn't be cutting the arm o core for the front but i'll be following that for the back just the way i'm tracing out here At this point, I'm going to go ahead to determine the neckline depth. I came down by 3 inches and I'm going ahead to connect to the neckline width, which is 3.5 inches. At this point, I've gone ahead to use the front bodies to also cut out the back bodies. So here is the pattern paper for the back bodies. At this point, I can go ahead to cut out the arm o core for the front bodies. So right here we have the back bodies, it's exactly as the front bodies except that it doesn't have that curve at the ham on. So I'll go ahead and also mark 4 inches for the dart intake. But this time around I'll go ahead to extend the dart intake to the chest line. From the chest line I'll come down by 1 inch. I'll go ahead and connect these points together to form a straight line. On the hip line, just as the front bodies, I'm going to come up by 2 inches. On the waistline, I'll go ahead to take 0 0.75 inches on both sides, giving a total of 1.5 inches. I'll then go ahead and connect just the way you're seeing me doing right here to so that 2 inches that we came up by from the hip line. And I'll also go ahead and connect from the 1 inch that we came down from the chest line and connect as so. On the waistline, I'll go ahead and go in by 0 0.5 and this is to avoid bulging at the back. Yes, you can also do 0 0.75 depending on the size that you're working with. But right here, I'm using 0 0.5. And I'll go ahead and connect it upwards just the way you're seeing me doing right here. And from that waistline, I'm going to connect it downwards as well. At this point, we are done with the back bodies. All we need to do is to cut out the back slope, which I require to do right here. If this video was any helpful to you, do not hesitate to click on the like button. If this is your first time here, I want to say welcome. Do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel. At this point, we have successfully drafted out the front and the back bodies. You can go ahead and decide the type of neckline that you want not that the major difference between the front and the back is that the back that started from one inch below the chest line while the front started one inch below the bust line please note that seam allowance was not added to this pattern as well as zipper allowance so when drafting this on your fabric do well to add these allowances if you have any question, drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to respond to you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.